Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and we are finally back in Space Engineers, and I have been working hard for the last seven plus days to get this thing done. Now, it may not look like a lot. Um, it's only a 41 million kilogram or 90.2 million pound ship and um let's just go ahead and start from the beginning to the end i'm going to probably do a lot of cutscenes because of the fact that uh it's gonna take forever to move anywhere on the ship um so here we are on the front we have four solar panel sections and we have in the center is where the cockpit is right in between that little uh, marked out square where all the points are going to it almost looks like the sky in the background plus those little black lines almost converge to make it look like it's part of the ship in a way and i think that's something that i was trying to go for to make it look really cool plus you can see that all the solar panels are surrounded in glass to make it have a a nice smooth shape instead of just jagged edges um let's go ahead and continue <clears throat> back and i will be right back i'm gonna just go a little bit further i just don't want you to have to wait okay so we're just a little bit further down and um, i want to talk about what each of these sections are i'm not going to go into too much too much detail as we're going to go over them as we're going through them um so this first section here is where all of the power is stored so the solar panels, yes, they create power, and you can run this whole ship off of the solar panels alone. But um, that's with the lights off, and um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But inside of here, there's over 967 batteries. And those batteries are divided up um, into four sections, or four arrays. And as <clears throat> what I have it set up as is you have, um, so, so array one, you turn it on and all the others are off. Once array one is fully charged, you keep it on and recharging and then you turn on array two. Once that's on and fully recharged, you turn on three <clears throat> and so on. If I was to turn on all the batteries at one time and try to recharge them, which I did, <laughs> whenever I first made the ship, it was going to take four full days, four full real life days to get them charged. So by setting up, setting them up in an array and going clockwise around the ship, um, you are uh, reducing the amount of draw from batteries. And finally, once they're, they're charged, they continue to stay charged. And the only time they, our losing power is when uh, the solar panel uh, solar panels don't have sunlight or you are charging the ships that are attached to the ship so the next section here um, let me go ahead and get a little bit closer uh, because it's hard to see here um, and again I'll be right back I don't want to have to have you watch me limp over there all right so we're back and this section here in the center this is where your mess hall is, where your recreational area is. Um, and there's another part of it that I'll show you later, but uh, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to keep it or not. I'm, I may move it, and you'll, I'll talk about that once we get to the hangar. But another thing I wanted to show you about these solar panels is they have these hooks on the back of them. Now the hooks right at the very tip of the hook is a camera facing straight down. Now I could, I was originally thinking there has to be a way that I can have someone monitor the actual solar panel while it's being turned. And this is it. So the person can actually look straight down at the panels and see the, the four dots and see when all four dots are completely full. Um, and the way you move them is you have a rotor that's right there on each one of these so all of these can move independently. Um, but if I would have had the hook going on the front of the, uh, of the solar panels, 
then it would have cast a shadow and it would have reduced the quality of that panel. You would be losing power because you have a shadow. So this was the next best thing is to put the camera backwards so that you're looking at the dark side of the solar panel and you are um, essentially um, not losing any power by having that um, watching over those, um, if that makes any sense. Um, so the next thing here is um, these here on all four sides are solar are, um, are the cabin or the areas where the people live. The ones on the top and the bottom, if there is such a thing in space, um, are where the military crew stays. So there's these, um, uh, right now I haven't done it yet, but there's, um, there's rooms set up, but I'm going to take out the walls on the inside and put bunk beds that I found um, to put, put in there. But of course, I'm going to have to wait until um, uh, until I'm done with the recording because I couldn't put everything in the ship that I wanted to before I recorded it. But we're running at four frames a second right now, so there's no way I could have done it. Uh, let's me let's uh, be back in just a second, and um, I will show you the next sections. I didn't get too much further, uh, but I did want to show you here. This is where you actually enter. Then you have this little cool looking corridor where um, you can go up, down, left, and right uh, to get to the civilian areas. But um, the way this looks inside is pretty cool, um, which you'll see in a little bit. But I wanted to show you that. Now this section here has a lot of glass. And again, someone mentioned that this thing would be destroyed pretty fast. All you have to do is really hit one of those joints there, and this thing would be separating like there's no tomorrow. Um, and that's true, but um, it's more aesthetics and than anything else. Uh, plus, it has a patrolling force that I haven't even got to. But in here are all of your crates. Um... And these are being fed by this next section is where all of the refiner, uh, refineries are. There are no assemblers uh, because of the fact that the only purpose for the ship is to get or store ore and return ore to whoever you have a contract with. Um, you have these tubes, which you see in the center there, that are going to the back. And that's what's actually pulling the ore to here where these pipes on the outside um, that are closest to me are actually sending um, ammo to the patrol ships. And we'll see that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and get a little bit further. We're almost to the hangar portion, then we'll actually walk through the center of the ship. As we're passing by these big um, thruster bays, um, I wanted to bring up one other thing, and that is I'm not liking this. I'm not liking the way these thrusters look. So what I think I'm going to do before I upload to the workshop, which, by the way, this will probably take another five days to upload to the workshop because of the fact that there's so much more I want to get done before I let you guys have it because I don't want you to have um, a product that isn't finished. But what I think I'm going to do is take these out, and put three lines you can see how there's three lines that are completely flat and i think what i'm going to do is put small thrusters in like three uh, like in this section it would be a shorter line of thrusters than in that section and in the bottom section so that's kind of offset and it has a, a neater look to it so that's the plan for this i'm not keeping those so be right back and I'll show you the hangar. Okay, so we're finally at the hangars and you may notice something very weird about them. Well, they're not turned out. They're not opening up to an area where the ships can get out easy. And you may say, well, that's kind of annoying. And um, to be honest, uh, as the person who would be riding in the ship if they're being attacked, I wouldn't care. And that's because the whole point of this is to make sure that your bays are being protected by something. Because if someone is... Uh, let's take the old Star Wars entrance scene from the, the, um, 
the original Star Wars, uh, the, the one that came out in the 70s, where the big ship is being chased by the bigger ship. And uh, this is how it is. As you can see, when you're shooting behind it, you can't see inside of the hangars. And that's the point. And the drones are small enough that they can just sneak out of this section over here. Like they come out um, from uh, right to left. And that's how they would exit. The doors, uh, if people are, are only coming out from the lower right hand side then only the lower right hand side door would be open so it leaves the ability to go up down left and right no matter how you look at it you're going to be able to get out of this with no problem the ships only take up a one block wide um, area on the floor so they can get out of this this is around three blocks wide so it should be no problem for them to maneuver um, let's go ahead and show you the bottom uh, floor first because it's actually completely finished um, and it's laggy this is why we're having the lag that we are so um, here we are here is the first floor or the bottom floor this is where all the miners are contained and as you can see there are seats right in front of the miner uh, so whoever's controlling that miner knows they're going to sit in that seat and they're going to be able to know where that um, ship is supposed to re-land once it comes back. Plus they're all being held down by connectors and that's how they recharge and also uh, unload. So I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and go to the top. Okay, this is the second floor. Now this is where all of the military patrollers are going to be. As you can see, they are really close together. The, again, the ships aren't very wide. They aren't very long, so they're able to stack really nicely in here. Uh, the reason that all the ships aren't here are for two reasons. One, it would take forever because of the fact that um, they have... Well, let's go ahead and go over to this one. Again, be a second. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get over there. All right, so this is the military ship. And as you can see, it hugs really close to the ground. And you can see that it's kind of propped up a little bit in the back. And that's because uh, that's where the thrusters are. And then in the front here, right below that, is where um, a camera is so that you can see where you need to land. Um, the military people aren't going to be in this room. You can see there's no seats on this level for uh, them to be in front of wherever their ship is going to be. And that is because uh, we want to protect them uh, more. So here's the ship. Um, I've done a video on the ship, but um, I've done some changes to it since you saw it. Uh, the way this armor works on the front, this thing is completely heavy armor. So it's not the fastest ship, but it is. it will take care of its business. This is all set up so that you have three cameras in case one gets shot out or another sh gets shot out. They're on three separate levels, meaning that um, it is harder and harder to get to the cameras as, um, as you try to shoot at this thing. Uh, but there are over 50 plus spots on this floor more than that at least at least 60 spots for this thing for these ships so like i said it'd take two hours the um actual connector on this ship is so low that you actually have to physically go in control the ship and land it for every single one where the other ship was very easy so as you can see you have a lot of space past where these guys are um, and this is where I was thinking about putting the room for the, um, the guys controlling these. And the reason I was thinking that is because this thing is the most protected part of the ship. Um, there's two layers of heavy armor up there. And below where all of those um, other ships were, there's two layers of heavy armor there. And there's two, uh, two layers of heavy armor to get to this level um, in the center. So th there's a total of six layers of heavy armor 
Um, or, well, it'd be a total of three layers of armor per side, per top and bottom to, uh, to protect these guys. So I was thinking about actually putting the control uh, center in here. Uh, and I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But again, all of that will be done before I upload it to the Steam Workshop. So then we go down here. Um, and you'll see the piping. This is uh, where the pipes come in to, um, to go down there and uh, receive the resources. And the other pipes come in over here under this floor. All right, and I will be back once we get to the next section, and um, see you then. Okay, we're coming into the refinery area, and by the way, if you keep wondering why I'm making so many cuts, it's because this thing is recording at three to five uh, frames per second. <laughs> So I want to make it, um, I don't want to have to ha have you wait for me to move everywhere. But this is the refinery area. Everything is connected. And um, all of these, uh, there are no uh, assemblers. I think I said that already. And that is because the only purpose of this ship is to store ore. And um, refined ore. In the next section here. Um, let me try to speed up there if it'll let me. Uh, is where all the crates are. Now this first area here, you'll see there's just an opening so you can move throughout there. And that's so that um, a technician can make sure that, um, to just check on the piping, make sure everything is in working condition at all times. Um, and you can access the crates here along this walkway. And um, let's go ahead and go on to the next section, and I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, up and down. <laughs> okay, so we've come out of, um, of the crate room, and we have two doors here. This is where the crew actually boards. Um, I need to put some way for this to attach to, um, or I need to pipe all of those um, crates over to here under this floor somehow so that it can um, have a way for some kind of anchor to come out and pull it into um, dock uh, but doors on each side for you to um, enter and um, let's go ahead and move up here now this is the sector or section where you choose to go to the quarters and again I'm gonna go ahead and just speed ahead and be right back because it's gonna take me a little bit to get up there okay so we're, here we are we're on the second floor of um, the passenger um, living area this is actually where the military would stay um, and the second floor is where all the captains stay because there's a window there, but there's also a window right above it so you can see out into space better. Um, these walls would come down, um, at least on the second or on the first floor, and that's where all the bunk beds for all the military guys would be. Um, and then on the front here, there's a little balcony um, that looks down into a quad. I guess that's what you could know it's not quad it's an area where people hang out and talk at the end of the day a place where you'd have like um, fold out chairs looking out um, at what would be essentially the the sea of space <laughs> it's like sitting at a beach kind of but your water is space uh, kind of deal but this is where you'd hang out uh, there's one of these in each um, section of um, the living quarters and um, each room on the captain's side or the captain's quarters are um, between two by four and um, two by six I believe and this right here is just a little cargo area this is where the military guys that live on this floor would have access to medical supplies. Again, I haven't been able to put them in here because it would be so laggy. 
uh, but military um, supplies, um, medical bays, and whatnot, um, and there would be one on each floor. And again, windows above and to the side. Love, 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 love me some windows. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're coming into uh, what I told you about was the mess hall. Um, and this has two floors, but the second floor, uh, right now it's one thing, but um, I th we talked about how I was talking about moving the military to where they were under the actual floor um, where the drones were. Uh, well, the second floor here, or it's the first, it's the basement <laughs> is what you would really call it. Uh, because it's not really the second floor. This is the first floor. This is the basement down here. But the basement is set up where all of the guys would sit and do their their thing with the drone with the drones. And you have guys that are also back in this section where um, this all continues. But I think what I'll end up doing with this is also add some storage for the uh, civilians, uh, medical bays again, and um, other things like that. Here um, is, again, where you'd have your food, have uh, game rooms, and all kinds of things along those lines. And I think what I'll end up doing is... Um, um, leaving that to your discretion how you want it to look I have mod packs that I found that I think would be great for it I don't know I may end up just doing it and then that way you can have it done and then you can decide to delete what's in here if you want to so the next section is just right here so we're not gonna cut to it um, so let's go ahead and turn on our engines again our um, spacesuit and fly into what is essentially my favorite room of the whole ship. So, if you've seen batteries before, <laughs> then you know that that's what this is. As you can see, these batteries, these, uh, this is Array 1, this is Array 2, and they are completely turned off. They're not, they're not just off, they're completely turned off. Um, and that's because they have a full charge and I don't want them to be um, using that charge on anything right now. We have other bays though, or other sections that because it's so, uh, it takes a while for them to charge, they're charging now. And that's array three and four because one and two are done. But you can see there are batteries everywhere in here and it's um, matched up up and down left and right and you have these pillars that even have them uh, didn't want to just put layers upon layers of batteries in here because I already knew it was gonna take forever to get them charged I just didn't want to make it even worse and the problem is because I didn't add more layers is a full charge is only gonna last four hours four hours after taking what could have essentially been four days to charge them. Um, because I ended up putting them into arrays, it only takes about 15 minutes to charge a whole section. And that's because we have massive solar cells above us. Now, let me talk about why this room is set up this way. This is your, um, this is your cockpit. This is where the captain sits right here. He controls the ship, flies it, and all of that. Um, and these guys are set up as they would monitor for their whole shift um, the solar uh, sections themselves. There's um, Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie, uh, Delta. That's up, down, left, and right. And they would monitor the amount of bars that are on the solar panels to make sure they have a constant four bar uh, quality. Well, while they're doing that, the way the captain is flying is they're going to be flying forward. But uh, they'll turn the dampeners off and they will actually aim the ship at the sun as directly as they can. And then the solar panels would be moved to compensate for any loss. 
And that's those cameras I was talking about earlier. So this uh, area doesn't have very many um, lights in it, but it does have lights. And that is the whole ship. Let's go ahead and get in. Let's get some stats. Let's get some statistics. Um, I know a lot of you like that. Uh, let's go ahead and press um, tab. You'll see all of the antennas come online. Um, so like I said, we are at 41.6 um, um, uh, kilograms. That doesn't sound right, but it is kilograms uh, or um, around 90 million uh, pounds. And we have um, 967 batteries, 496 gyros, and the numbers continue. So this is the ship. There's one last thing I want to do, and we will be right back, and I will end it with one last great picture. And um, see you in just a second. So here it is. This is the final shot. This is the last thing that I'll show today. And this is a full half cutaway of the whole ship. And I think it really shows everything that's going on um, inside and out. Um, maybe not right there. Um, but it, it shows that there is a lot going on in the ship. Um, oh, I didn't delete that one. Let's go ahead and delete that. And that's it, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the ship. I hope everything was to your pleasing. This is Cypher Deck. Have a great day and a great evening, a great weekend, and a great week. Peace out.